In this movie, we're going to delve into the difference between using a database field to filter and a user-defined field to filter. If you recall, a database field comes straight from the database and tends to be faster when using the select expert to filter on. A user-defined field is something that's stored and created essentially in the Crystal report. In order for you to filter by it, Crystal must pull all the data first and then apply the filter. I bring this up as a point because when working with large data set, this will take more time for Crystal to crunch the data and pull it over. Let's get started. Continuing along from the report from the previous movie, let's go ahead and choose the Select Expert. We're going to show the formula, and from right here, we're going to go ahead and delete all of the conditions we had before. We're going to start fresh. Let's go to the Formula Editor. As you can see, it's been all cleared out. Let's save and close, and press OK. This time, we're going to refresh the data, and this pulls in all the data with no filters whatsoever. If you have a large data set, I don't recommend you do this, but since we have a nice, small, compact test database, we can get away with it fairly easily. From here, let's go to View, Field Explorer, and right-click on Formula Fields. We need to create a custom field that we can deal with. We'll call this Sample User Field, and press OK. This brings up our standard Formula Editor. In this case, we're going to make it an if-then. Let's go ahead and scroll up to the top so we can see what we need to pull in. We're going to say if the office division equals east, then I'm putting this string, the 10% space dash space plus the customer client. Notice I put them between single quotes. You can also use double quotes, it's just a matter of your style. Else, if the office division equals west, then 20% plus the customer client name. Else, and this is my catch all clause, otherwise, I'll get a blank value. This is a simple if-then to help us out with us exploring how the filter works on a user-defined field. Let's go ahead and check our work. Good habit to get into. See that no errors are found. You press OK, save, and close. From here, I'm going to go ahead and drag this on to the report. Just have to find some room for it first. I think I'm going to go ahead and highlight the manager field and delete it. Let's go ahead and drag on the sample user field in its place. Notice how this guideline box in gray helps me guide which section I'm in. Once it's there, I press Release, and I have my sample user field. Keeping it highlighted, go ahead and press the Select Expert. By default, if I've highlighted a field in my Details section or on my report, if it can be filtered by, it will show up as a default here. Right now, it's set to any value. From here, we're going to choose Starts With, and we'll call this 20 PCT and 10 PCT. Those are the exact characters that the string will start with that we're looking for. We look in our formula, notice how the syntax is here if you wanted to write it out by hand. Let's go ahead and press OK and refresh our data. In our test database, you couldn't really tell per se, but it did take slightly longer for this to pull it because first it needs to pull everything and then calculate what it is because the calculation is happening on the crystal side. User-defined fields aren't the only thing that you can filter by. Let's go and insert a summary. And instead of sample user field, let's scroll up and choose revenue amount. And we're going to choose sum. And we're going to put this in the group one office name and press OK. Let's go back to our design view and close this window out. Here's where Crystal inserted our sum of revenue out by office. I'm going to click on that field and choose my select expert. In addition to my sample user field, I'm going to say the sum by office needs to be greater than or equal to 100,000 and press OK. Notice how this isn't a field at a detail level as we've done before, but rather a summary field in the group section and preview. From here, I'm going to go ahead and suppress my detail section so we can see our summaries closer. Notice what we've got here. We're looking for those offices for all this that have amounts greater than. 
Now, the only two that appear on this report are Charlotte, New Mexico, because they meet the condition. But, as we can see in the background, my drill down still shows Arizona, Charlotte, Chicago, so on and so forth. This is what I'm trying to illustrate when I say using a user-defined field, or a report that's defined in the crystal report, as opposed to defined in the database, needs to go back and pull everything to be created, to be filtered by, and to begin with. So while we may not see it, it's still there in the background. Do keep this in mind, especially if you're picking up large amounts of data.